Okay guys, so here is my repainted uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. I know, I'm kicking myself for not uh, videotaping the process. Uh, but anyway, so here he is. I didn't get to the lizard, which I think I probably will eventually, because uh, I don't really, I don't know, the red just doesn't go there, I guess. I, I want them to stand out more, but eh, it's no big deal. Now again, I'm not saying that the, the original one that you get is not good. It is pretty cool once glossed. Uh, if you ordered it, spray it with some shiny stuff and the gold and highlights come up and uh, it looks uh, pretty amazing um, again I just felt that it had too much gold highlights and and it looked more like a, a, a very high-end um, bronze statue um, but again uh, it, it didn't look to me as as a creature should look in my eyes I've always pictured him in kind of like a cave looking thing you know swampy waters um, so that's what I try to achieve here and I'm very happy with them right now uh, as for the uh, water um, that was kind of tricky you know um, I actually let me show you what I used on that um, what I used was realistic water it's liquid and it dries clear um, what I did is I, I, I airbrushed some green tones and some darker tones on the water and then I poured this on there now I did mess up three times because it was the first time I ever used this uh, when this dried it was a nice clear uh, you know dark water so I wanted to make the ripples and to do that, uh, you have water effects. And this is more of a thick paste. So what I did, or what they say you need to do, let me see here, I'll just show you here real quick. As you pour it on here and try to make the ripples and shit like that. And then you get a brush and you just kind of like, you know, make the ripples. Which is what I did. And this eventually dries clear. When it dried on top of the uh, on top of the realistic water, I noticed that I could see the brush marks. So maybe I just didn't do it right or whatnot. So I figured, okay, well let me kind of sand it down. So I sanded it down, and then I poured some of this stuff over it again, thinking it would get clear. And well, it didn't. This stayed white when I sanded it down. So I peeled it off, which was good because that this thing didn't stick to the original resin. So I was able to peel it off. It wasn't easy, but I did peel it off. And then I uh, went back with the same thing. And when that dried, I did the same thing with this. But what I did is I wanted a, a, a one area look kind of white. So I put some paint on there to match the water. I put some of this stuff over that again and the area I painted really stood out and it looked horrible so then I, here I am again the third try peeled all that off again and what I did this time was I just poured this on all over and then let me just show you what that looks like um, all I did was just pour it on just like that and you know move the base back and forth so it, it so it just went all over the, the base area and what I did with that is I got the hair dryer and I started blowing it actually it wasn't that thick though so let me spread it out a bit you get an idea I know it's just on a ghetto cardboard here, but you'll get the idea what I did on, on the base. Okay, so, okay, I, it was kind of thin, and I got the hair dryer, 
and dried it as best I could. And as it's drying, kind of, what I did is before it was too too dry, see it's starting to get goopy. See that? Um, I got the brush and I just went like this. Now this is still liquidy, so I would add the dryer again on there. So when it was a kind of a little bit goopy, I created the little waves. In certain areas, it's still too too uh, li liquidy. So again, more. And I just kept doing this. See how it's skin? You know, it gets a, a, a layer. Of dryness and I just worked worked it like that all the way on the base everywhere I mean I did that you know just working it like this everywhere once that dried and it got clear, I went back and poured some more of this on top of it to seal it and to make it blend in. And as you can see, I mean, it's, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it wasn't easy, but you got the effect. And I mean, you know, now I got the hang of it, so I guess I can say it's easy. Can't really see it here, but anyway, so that's how I did the water, you know. So it turned out pretty good. I'm noticing here on camera as I zoom in, you can actually still see kind of like the bluish tint inside, but in person, you know, you really don't see much of that. Uh, again, guys, uh, now the the claws here, you're just painted and I got some brown in there, kind of ghetto looking, but that's okay for right now because my initial plan later would be I'm going to cut these guys off and uh, make them uh, out of acrylic uh, 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 dental material so they'll look a lot more realistic. So I don't I don't mind them looking you know pretty ugly right now. Um, but um, yeah, again, so I'll be cutting these guys off eventually and making them out of acrylic, which will look a lot, a lot awesome anyway guys so here he is my creature from the black lagoon i'm really happy with him now i mean this is what i envisioned when i first heard this was coming out so i hope you like him guys if not it's all good i do thanks again for watching